Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to the last day, kind of late in the day probably, of our 72-hour boot camp here in Team Game Changers. My name is Sherry Johnson. I am one of the leaders on this team, and I am here to talk to you about one of my favorite things today, which is Epiphany's Rewards Plan, um, better known as the Comp Plan, the Compensation Plan, the Bonus Plan, whatever you want to call it. This is extra money that you can earn over and above selling the clothes if you choose to build a downline with Epiphany. So let's see if we can make it share the screen. Hang on, I'm gonna switch to, first I'm gonna switch to the comp plan itself. Epiphany has now started calling it the rewards plan. So I'm gonna go right here. So this is the actual kind of one page. There's two pages that summarize all of these things for you in detail. There's a document, it's posted in all of our team groups. Uh, so you should have access to it anytime you want it. But right here, you start over here on this side as a stylist. When you sign on, you pay your sign on fee, which is a tech fee that's due once a year on your anniversary. You are now a stylist. You do not become active in terms of the system until you reach 10 articles. So 10 articles is your magic number to stay active every month. It's your magic number for anybody that chooses to sign up under you and for you to mentor them. That is the number that you want to shoot for to number one, stay active so that you can continue to buy your own clothes at wholesale. And number two, not have to pay any kind of a monthly service fee. Okay. We have access to a back office. We have access to a compensation um, back office that's a little bit different and then we have an app coming out that is going to be available to all of us as a selling platform and there is no monthly fee for any of those things there are no auto shipments there are no minimums to buy in the sense of things that you have to do but to stay active and to avoid that $29 a month service fee you just want to make sure that you get to 10 articles we call them articles because they can be sample pieces that you purchase they can be wholesale pieces that you purchase, or they can be retail carousel pieces that you sell without having to buy them, okay? So 10 is your magic number to start with. You become a stylist, you wanna stay active, you wanna to get to those 10 pieces every month. As you move up, if you are getting to the volume of 20 articles or more a month, and you have one person sign up directly under you, you have now advanced to the rank of advanced stylist. So you're maintaining your 20 articles or more. You have one stylist that is going to become active. So you've got to get that stylist to her 10 plus pieces a month. And between the two of you, you are doing at least 50 articles. Okay, that's advanced stylist. You've got to get to this third rank right here before you start getting extra compensation over and above your sales commission. Okay, once you get to senior stylist, that means you have attained 30 articles or more a month, so you're buying and selling a combination of 30 plus articles a month. You have at least one active direct stylist underneath you, and between at least the two of you, or within two levels down from you, 75 total articles are being bought and or sold together. If that is the case, if all those things apply, you hit the rank of senior stylist, you get a 4% override on the commissionable value of your first level. So your first level are always going to be what we call directs. They are direct to you. You directly sponsor them into Epiphany. You are their mentor. You are their first line of defense. So you're going to earn a 4% override on commissionable volume for that line. And then your second level, which is anybody that your directs sponsor into the company, you get a 2% override of commissionable value. So we'll talk a little bit in just a minute about what commissionable volume is, but just suffice it to say, it's, it's kind of a hybrid between what you're selling retail carousel prices for and what you're buying wholesale sample prices for, okay? Each, and we're kind of a little bit in flux right now. They just changed our rewards plan at the beginning of this month. Um, and so they're making some tweaks and some adjustments to commissionable value. They're making further tweaks and adjustments that they have announced, but that don't go into effect until December 1st. So what that will look like after December 1st is that each piece that Epiphany launches will have an assigned commissionable value to it. So it won't really matter in terms of how high wholesale is versus how low retail is, like what the actual profit margin is there. That will not matter to us on the rewards plan site because it will have a set commissionable value from the get-go, okay? Um, so I know that's probably as clear as mud, but 
this is just a tough time right now because we're in the middle of changing over. So it'll be a lot clearer after December 1st. But just as a, a vague sense in the future, that's what you want to aim for. If you, if you feel like you have something to offer, if you've got your feet wet, if you understand um, how to sell, you've gotten into the flow of the business, you understand the schedule, you've built a solid community with your customers, you feel like that you have things that you could contribute to helping somebody else do the same thing in their business, that's when it's time for you to start thinking about um, offering the opportunity to, to people and making sure that they know that they can do this just like you do. Okay. So once you get to senior stylist, those articles for you never increase. So there's not a threshold that's going to increase higher than 30 articles a month at any level of our rewards plan. Okay. So as long as you are doing a minimum of 30 articles, then you will qualify for certain ranks. So fashion leader, Fashion leader is what we identify as like the first level of leadership, okay? So within our team groups, we start to recognize leadership at fashion leader. Um, that means that you're doing a minimum of your 30 articles a month. You have at least two directs underneath you that are active. And then within that group, no matter how many directs you really have or how many directs those directs have, you have to be doing a minimum of 100 team articles. So 100 team articles a month, two directs that are active, you're now a fashion leader. Congratulations. You're earning a 5% override of commissionable value on your first level and a 3% override of commissionable value on your second level. Okay. Senior fashion leader, which is the next paid as rank. This is where you really want to kind of keep your eye on the prize when you start building a team. Senior fashion leader is your stepping stone to the upper levels of the pay plan down the road. Okay. So senior fashion leader, still again, you're at that minimum of 30 articles for yourself. You have to have four directs that are active, four active directs. And the word active, that's key here, because if you are going to work this as a career, and if you want to build to career income with a team, you need to understand that your first line is your responsibility. Your first line, if they are not active, Anybody down under that leg, if you want to envision your directs legs under you, when your direct is not active, that leg is dead. Okay? So in order for you to, let's say you've got a direct, they just do this as a hobby, they do 20, 30 pieces a month, whatever it is, great. As long as they stay active, if they have people underneath them, and you've got a real go-getter down there, and they build a fashion director or senior fashion director, that helps you not at all if your direct does not stay active. So your first line directs have to be active in order for their leg to be active. That's key to keep in mind, okay? Um, a lot of you, if you're familiar with direct sales, if you're familiar with compensation plans, um, you will expect to see some level of breakaway as you start graduating leaders. We do not have breakaways here. The key to our comp plan is keeping those actives, those directs active, because if they are not active, the leg is not active, okay? So once you get to senior fashion leader, you're doing at least a minimum of your 30 articles. You've got your four directs that are active, and one of those directs has to have graduated to fashion leader. So one of those directs has to have a minimum of two directs under them, and that group has to be doing a minimum of 100 articles. Once you have a fashion leader under you and three other directs, as long as all of your team together in the first three levels are doing a minimum of 300 team articles, then you're going to rank as senior fashion leader. Epiphany is offering a bonus right now. If you rank to senior fashion leader your first 90 days with Epiphany, you get an extra $500 cash bonus. Nice, huh? That's over and above the team overrides and, and your regular rewards commission. That is just a pure extra $500 simply because you did it in the first 90 days. Okay? Once you get to senior fashion leader, then your eye is over here. Then you're looking to jump into the upper echelon of this pay plan. So fashion director, senior fashion director, and executive fashion director are what we consider the executive levels because you kick in generational pay and you get to participate in the team bonus pool. So those are two things that you do not get at the lower levels of leadership in the plan. So it kind of sets those top three levels apart. I'm just going to skim through this, and if you, if you have your eye on this, then message me and we'll talk. We can set up a direct Zoom. We can do whatever you want to do, um, but we'll talk. You'll see that once you click over from senior fashion leader to fashion director, your minimum requirement for articles actually starts going down. They are assuming that as you get to that level, you are managing a pretty large team underneath you, um, and you're required to devote a lot of your time to that team. 
okay? So 30 articles is the max. It actually drops down to 20 for fashion director. You need eight active directs for fashion director. That bumps up to 10 for senior fashion director and 12 for executive fashion director. Okay, for that first fashion director level, you need two strong lines of leadership to get there. Okay, so you need you, you need a senior fashion leader, and you need a fashion leader in another leg. So when you look at the legs under these top three levels, they always have to be, these leader ranks have to be in different legs. So if I have a senior fashion leader, and she has a fashion leader under her, that does not count as my second fashion leader. Okay, it has to be a different leg. And then total team within four levels, and it's always four levels, that's the highest you go as far as team pay. So it's you, your direct, their direct, their direct. Those are your four levels, okay? 900 total team articles to qualify for fashion director. So you have to have a team big enough doing 900 total articles and you have to have one senior fashion leader and one fashion leader. So you see that the percentages are going up each time and you're getting paid for deeper levels. Like senior fashion leader, it went to 7%, 4%, and 2% on level one, level two, and level three. So you kicked in a third level that you didn't have that you didn't get paid on as a senior stylist or a fashion leader. Senior fashion leader gets paid on those first three levels. But once you bump up into those top three levels, now you're getting paid on all four levels. You're getting paid 7%, 5%, 3%, 3%, plus you're kicking in for generational pay. This gets really convoluted and I don't really wanna do it for purposes of this boot camp. but just suffice it to say that as your line gets deeper, as it goes deeper, as it gets bigger down, it grows down. There are people down there that will be building teams. For every fashion director that you hit below your first level of fashion directors within that leg, I know this gets really complicated, you get an extra 2% on that entire team. So just envision as these teams get big and you're advancing from fashion director to senior fashion director to executive fashion director and you're kicking in for one generation, two generation, down to three generations. Fast forward a few years, and your team is really big, that's phenomenally mind-blowing money, okay? Um, you also get points in the bonus pool. So Epiphany wants to share the wealth. If we stay profitable, if we run a, a lean-type ship, if we're selling a lot, we're encouraging our teams to sell a lot, we're teaching all of the great basics on how to socially sell. So as our profit is growing, as our bonus pool is growing, then we get to share in that. You get one point, two points, and three points for yourself and for every fashion director under you as you graduate from fashion director on up to SFD and EFD. Okay, so that's really all I'm gonna hit on for that for now because it gets very convoluted. Just know that retail carousel commissions also go up as you rank up. So you can, you start off earning your 25% commission on retail sales, okay? That is up to 21 pieces. Now, don't get this confused and combine it in your mind with the sample pieces or any wholesale purchases. This is strictly retail carousel sales. So even if you buy 20 pieces and you sell 10, which in your mind gives you 30, that's not what this chart right here is based on. This chart right here is based on retail carousel sales. So separate from your samples and your purchases, this is what you're actually selling through the carousel and earning commission on. Once you bump over from 21 to 50 pieces, you jump up to 27.5% commission. If you go from 51 to 100 pieces, you bump up to 30% commission. Once you get into that 101 right there, you bump over 101 retail pieces, now you're at 32.5% commission. This is completely separate from having a team. This is what you can earn just on your sales based on your volume. If you sell over 200 pieces in a month, you're at 35% commission, boom. Now, once you hit those upper ranks, let's say you have ranked a fashion director and you have sold 150 retail pieces, you are gonna earn an extra 5% on that 32 and a half. So now you're earning 37 and a half percent on what you're selling. You can get to 50% commission as a senior fashion director and above if you are selling more than 201 pieces a month. 50% commission on a product that you did not have to buy before you sold it. So that's pretty impressive because that's the norm in retail. That's what we call Keystone. You buy something for 10, you sell it for 20 you're getting to make your 50% commission here without ever having to buy it. Well, hi friends, I'm back. 
different day, different shirt, different hair. I somehow lost the end of the first video that I made, so we're just gonna redo it. Yay, technical difficulties, you gotta love it. Um, I want to share my screen with you guys and just go over a couple of different ways of making money with Piffany as far as how many of this do you need to sell to get that, okay? Um, I'm gonna try to make this really brief. I know I've already taken up like way too much of your time that you're never gonna get back. Like there's 20 minutes of your life you're never gonna get back. Um, talking about the comp plan, but I just wanna show you because we have a calculator in Excel that actually calculates if you sell this many sample pieces, if you sell this many retail carousel pieces, how much money does that make you in a month? And it even gets big enough that you can look at it with a hypothetical downline. Like you can look at it if you had a hypothetical level one, level two, level three of X number of people, just to give you some idea of what your check would look like based on what you're selling and what your rank is. So um, it's a really cool tool. And I just wanna show you a little bit of what it looks like if you just wanna come in and do this part-time, if you just wanna come in and make a car payment, if you just wanna make um, some money to pay for extracurricular activities for your kids after school, you know, maybe just save up to go on a vacation, whatever it is. Um, I just thought that this would be really useful for you guys to see. Um, so let's, let's give this a try. Here is uh, my version of hobby level income. So right here on this first page is what I call half participation in the sample program. So Epiphany does 10 new releases a month. If you bought kind of a minimum-ish minimum -min number of samples for half of those launches. So let's say you really like five out of the 10 styles that release that month. You're gonna buy four samples of each of those styles. You're going to keep one of those for yourself because why else are we here if we don't wanna buy our clothes wholesale, right? So you're gonna keep one of those for yourself. So that means you have 16 sample pieces over the course of a month that you are selling, presumably, at retail price to your friends, to your family, to your mom, to your sister, to your cousin, to your coworkers, you know, whoever that may be, um, you're selling these samples. So 16 pieces a month, you're keeping five for yourself. That's gonna make you almost $300 profit for the month. Okay, that's separate from retail carousel. That is sample purchases. You're buying them at a cost. You're selling them at a retail price. You are making the profit between the two, okay? So that's one part of your monthly income. Now let's add to that. Let's say that during the course of that month, you have 35 other people that want to buy some of the things that we're releasing, okay? So during the course of the month, you sell 35 sales through the retail carousel. So that's free shipping to your customer. You did not have to buy those pieces, you're just earning a commission when you sell them, okay? That's gonna earn you another almost $400 in profit in commission earned for the month. So complete half participation in the sample program and a minimum of 35 pieces a month selling through the carousel, you are making almost $700 a month. So if you're somebody that wants to come into this, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're retired, whatever your situation may be and you're wanting to make a car payment, you're wanting to make ballet money, soccer money, save up $500 a month to go on a cruise at the end of the year, or take your husband on vacation, or whatever the case may be, this is your path to making almost $700 a month. Half participation in the sample program, 35 pieces through the carousel a month, okay? Now, if we move up to, let's say we're a little bit more aggressive. We're still only wanting to participate halfway in the sample program. So still five out of 10 releases, four pieces. I'm keeping one for myself, I'm selling three. Same $293 profit, okay? And this is based on averages. So obviously every article that we sell is not the same price, so this is just based on averages. Now let's say I'm gonna get a little more aggressive and instead of 35 pieces through the carousel, I'm gonna sell 85 pieces. Now that's making me a little over $1,000 a month just from what I'm selling in retail carousel pieces. So now I've bumped up to 1,300 and almost $40 a month for buying five out of the 10 releases. I'm buying samples on five out of the 10 releases and I'm selling 85 pieces a month. So just to show you an idea, of what it looks like to get to that $1,400 a month, which to me, that's rent money, that's mortgage money, that's, you know, that's a couple of car payments that, you know, whatever it may be, that's, that's a pretty substantial amount of money to not have to go out and get a job, okay? So now, 
Let's say we take that, we truck along that way, we're building a community of customers, our friends and family are really liking what we're wearing, what we're selling. So now we're, we're working this up into a little bit more of a, of a closer to a full-time business, like it, you're really doing this, like let's really do this. So now you're gonna participate fully in all 10 sample purchases, okay? So all 10 launches, you're buying all the samples, you're keeping one for yourself, you're selling six of each one. That's gonna make you not quite $1,200 a month. So if you're selling at retail on average, that's gonna average you $1,154 a month just on your sample purchases. Now let's shift that down. You're also gonna sell another 35 pieces through the carousel. So let's say you don't really wanna be very active on social media, you have a lot of in-person friends and family, so you buy those samples and you kind of run it like a, a party model or an in-home model, so you're selling 10 releases a month, six samples a piece to your friends and family. And then you have enough people kind of peripherally um, that they want to buy another 35 pieces throughout the month. Okay, so you sell them those through the carousel. That makes you another almost $400. So now you're at $1,550 a month for basically running a very small clothing boutique out of your house. Essentially, that's what this looks like to me. Okay, so now let's say you take it to the next level. You're still doing the same samples, but now instead of 35 pieces a month, you're doing 85 pieces a month through the carousel. So now let's say you're actively working some social media. You're engaging with people on Instagram. You're engaging with people on Facebook. Um, you're building a community in a group where everybody likes to talk and hang out and shop, okay? So now you're selling those 85 pieces a month through the carousel along with full participation in the sample program. Now you're at $2,200 a month. That's pretty good money in my opinion for what we're looking at here. This is me not having to go out and get a nine to five job. Um, you know, this is me making it work with my lifestyle. Um, I'm not, I don't have anything bigger than a rack of clothes because I'm moving those samples. I'm turning them, I'm selling them to my friends and my family. Um, maybe an existing customer base that I already had from another business, who knows, whatever it is. But that's $2,200 a month. So this document right here, which I'll put in the group, to me, it is the epitome of what hobby level income can lead to even and i don't really consider that full-time like work necessarily um i still consider that in the hobby level category but you're up to over two thousand dollars a month so to me that's pretty impressive um if you want to look at the same calculator which we can and we want to factor in a team and this just it gets a little complicated because teams vary so much by who builds where what levels have um, you know have people and what levels don't all that good stuff but just to give you an idea of kind of what I consider career money or career replacing income okay this is I know you guys can't see what I'm doing but that's okay because it's usually a mess so it's probably good okay so now I'm gonna go back to share and I'm gonna share this one so let's try this okay hopefully you're seeing um, this calculator. So what I've done here is I have based my personal activity on kind of um, minimalist samples. So I am participating in all 10 releases, but I'm only buying three samples per release. Okay, so I'm not really actively buying samples that I am trying to sell in any kind of quantity. I'm buying three pieces per style. I'm probably keeping two, maybe I'm selling one. Maybe my mom gets one, maybe one of my really good customers gets one, um, you know, whatever the case may be. But I'm only buying three pieces per launch, 10 launches a month. So if that's the case, then I'm making about $360 a month doing that. Okay, now let's say I get after it and I use those samples to market the styles and I'm selling via social media, um, via the app that's coming, whatever the case may be, and I am getting to that 100 pieces a month through the carousel. Okay, once I click over to 101 pieces, I'm earning 32.5% commission. So if I sell 101 pieces, that 32.5% commission is roughly going to be $1,350 a month. So between the two, bare minimum samples, keeping all my clothes basically for free because I'm paying for my clothes, and I'm selling 101 pieces through the carousel, I'm making $1,800 a month doing that. Now, if I add a team to that, which is what this scenario looks at, that's my money. That's what I'm making for myself is that $1,800 a month. So let's say now I've added in a downline. I have 12 personally active directs, okay? They're participating in all 10 samples, minimally. 
So all my directs are purchasing three samples for every launch every month, okay? And you see how this gets really convoluted as it goes down. But then you've got level two, that's 24 people. Let's say they're participating minimally in all 10 launches. Same thing for level three, now I've got 48, they're participating three samples each for 10, okay? Are you with me? Are you with me so far? The reason that I structured it like this is because to get to the very top level of the company, which we hit on a little earlier, you have to have 12 active directs. I like this plan. If you guys want to team build, if you see your future with Piffany, if you are looking to um, increase your earnings over and over again, then I like the model of, um, I had a nice little like, acronym for it and I can never remember what it is but basically what you're doing is you're participating in the sample so let's just say you're participating to 30 samples a month because that's all 10 launches three pieces each so 30 samples a month then let's say you're selling anywhere from 50 to 85 pieces a month so it's a comfortable range I think we're not asking you to do a lot like you're not we're not asking you to be some huge super seller but you're just going to stay in that 50 to 85 piece range if you bring two people on each month just two and you teach them and guide them to do the same thing. So now they're, they're buying their 30 samples, they're selling uh, between 50 and 85 pieces a month, and they're bringing on two people every month and teaching them to do the same thing. So you see how this grows. It just, it, it multiplies and multiplies exponentially. So that's why we start with um, 12 personally enrolled Silas, then it jumps to 24 for level two and 48 for level three, okay? So that's kind of why I did this because it's the, it's the do this and bring two in, do this, bring two in, teach them to do the same thing, okay? So in this scenario, what you're looking at right up here, you're looking at about $5,200 a month in income for yourself. So that's more than $60,000 a year. So I consider that career replacing income for most people. So I just wanted to show you guys just briefly, uh, this calculator is available to you. If you wanna get into the numbers, please, please, please message me. I love uh, to talk about this sort of stuff and we can look at what you need to do, um, what kind of money you need to make if there's a figure that you need to get to and how we can get you there. So let's take a look at that. I hope you guys have enjoyed the boot camp and make sure you watch all the videos. There's some really great stuff in here. So take care. I'll see you guys later.